Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 25th Angular 2 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can hook our application up to Firebase. Okay, so in the last tutorial we went ahead and created this data service right here which reached out into the public folder and grabbed this data right here, ninjas.json. Now typically we're going to want to hook up to some kind of database instead of just getting JSON from our server. So in this tutorial, we're going to hook this application up to Firebase and grab the data from there instead. So the first thing you want to do is head to firebase.google.com. Yep, this is a Google product and it touts itself as a backend as a service, which basically means we can use it as a database to help with authentication, for storage, hosting, etc. Now in this series, I'm just going to talk about the database side of things. I am going to do a whole Firebase series in the future where I talk about all of these different things as well. But for now, we're just going to concentrate on hooking our application up to the database. So if you've not already got an account, just click get started for free and create one. Otherwise, click go to console and this is going to take you to the console where it's going to list all of your projects. Now, I kind of prepped a project already, but I thought instead what I'll do is create a new one from scratch to show you what I do. So I'll click this button right here, create new project. Give it a name, so I'm going to call this NN for Net Ninja hyphen Angular, and then my region is United Kingdom. Click Create Project, and this is going to spin up this project for you, and then redirect you to the Forge, or what was known the Forge at one point. It's basically where you can control your application. Okay, so these are all the different things we can do in our application. Like I say, for now, I'm just going to concentrate on this database right here. So let's click that. And the first thing I want to do is head over to the rules tab right here. And then what we want to do is set read and write to true for both of these here. So there's going to be no kind of issues when we're writing or reading from this database. In a real world application, you might not want to do this, but for now, this is fine. Let's click publish and then go back to data. So Firebase is a little bit like MongoDB in that it's a NoSQL database, meaning we work with collections and objects rather than tables. So this is our database right here, and we can add different fields to it. Now we can either add these fields manually by clicking these add child things, or we can import some JSON ourselves, which is what I am going to do. So to do that, I'm going to go to these little three dots and click that, import JSON, and then click browse. Then you want to navigate to where we created that JSON file called ninjas in the last tutorial. Double click that and we're going to import that JSON up here. So now we have these four different objects in here. Okay, so if we click open them, we can see we've got Yoshi, Ryu, Crystal and Sean. Cool. So now we have that data. How do we pump it into our application? Well, what we need to do is, first of all, grab this URL right here. So I'm going to just grab that and copy it to my clipboard. And all we're going to do is hook this up in our application. So back in our service, I'm going to get rid of this ninjas.json and replace it with this URL right here. But that's not enough. I need to do .json at the end of it. Okay, and that's going to return back to us the JSON. So if I save this right now and then head over to the browser, those ninjas output right here and just to test that this has worked let's go and change the belt color of one of these dudes let's change yoshi to yellow so it's the first one let's change that to a yellow click enter and that's going to change it right there and now if we go back here and refresh we can see that this has updated as well now we have a yellow belt instead so that is how we hook up to Firebase and how we can load in data from there instead of a JSON file on our server. In the next tutorial, I'm going to go into this a little bit more and show you how we can post data to Firebase as well. 